some news that's just coming in. A fifth case of a church being vandalized has taken place in the capital. Those are pictures you're looking at on your screens of a church in Green Avenue in Vasant Kunj, which has been vandalized. All right, those are very, very few details coming in at the moment because even the police seems to know little about this latest incident of vandalism in the capital at a church. Uh, I'm joined now by my colleague, Bhairavi Singh. Uh, Bhairavi, what more details do you have? We know the last time the police did not have any information about this incident. Do we know if they know any details at all yet? That's right, Kashish. I spoke to the uh, local police just about half an hour ago and they had absolutely no idea about this incident. Uh, but we do believe now that uh, they have arrived at the place of the incident here in Vasan Kunj in South Delhi at the Green Avenue Church, uh, led by an ACP level police officer uh, to look at what the situation is. What we're hearing, however, from members of the church is that the incident happened around between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. this morning, uh, and the main gate of the church was broken down, and uh, the church was vandalized uh, in, in a massive way. Um, and, and therefore, uh, of course, this, as you were pointing out, is the fifth such incident that has taken place in uh, Delhi ahead of elections, and just about a week ahead of elections. And remember, there was uh, a massive fire at the St. Sebastian's Church in Dilshad Garden just uh, in December. And a few days later, there was a stone-throwing incident in Jasola. And then, of course, uh, one more incident of uh, a, a such incident in Rohini and as well in Vikaspuri. So obviously, uh, it seems like uh, the cops have been caught napping as well because even in the last few incidents, uh, the police took a, a while before they registered a case. Uh, and so even this morning, the cops had no idea about this incident and now, of course, have reached... Uh, the, the place, but li very little information coming in as of now from the police. But um, the, the incident, of, of course, uh, as we can see from the visuals, uh, can be confirmed definitely uh, that, the, uh, that the church has been vandalized. All right, uh, Barry, stay with us on the phone line. Let's quickly listen in to, uh, we have uh, spoke earlier to Father Matthew Koikal, who is the Chancellor of the Archdiocese of Delhi. Uh, let's quickly listen in to what he said. We'll come back to you for more details on that story. Uh, this morning around uh, perhaps between 2 to 3 o'clock, some people have broke open the door of the church and got inside and broke open the tabernacle where we used to keep our holy Eucharist and uh, desecrated the tabernacle and the holy Eucharist and then taken away the monstrance and the ciborium in which we preserve the holy Eucharist. Uh, police have been given the instruction by the, their headquarters to give the security to the, uh, the churches around in Delhi, but uh, I don't know how much security was given here. Of course, I am told that the, the police occasionally come and, and go, do a kind of patrolling once or twice a week, but nothing more than that. This is the sixth incident is taking place in the capital. Since uh, December 1st, now it's the sixth one is being reported. This is a kind of deliberate attempt to, uh, you know, cut out sentiments or, um, you know, target the minority, the Christians here in, uh, in the capital. I may not be able to talk anything in regard to the politics and uh, what is called the election, but we know that we have been deeply hurt by this, uh, you know, line of action, uh, you know, the things happening in our churches. And we do not know anyone behind this you know, to anything targeting the election and things like that. We are not sure about these things. All right, uh, so that's the big story that we're tracking at this hour. Bhairavi Singh over there reporting that the police uh, did not know about the incident uh, till a short while ago. But uh, apparently now with the details coming in, sketchy as they may be at the moment, uh, the police uh, uh, looking to investigate that incident. But of course, this is the fifth case of vandalism in a church. This time, for those of you who just joined in, to give you a quick, quickly recap that story for you, uh, what we're hearing is that a fifth case of a church being vandalized has now taken place in the capital. That church is in Green Avenue in Vasant Kunj. Uh, that's been vandalized. And of course, the key thing at this stage is the fact that it's coming just days before Delhi elections. And of course, uh, those last incidents of vandalism in the city, including the most recent one in Vikas Puri, the, uh, the attack uh, which was caught on CCTV camera, there is still a uh, little movement on 
that particular story.